is the boiler we're going to be gas rating. This is the Ariston, um, it's an E-Combi Evo. So we're going to gas rate on hot water because that's going to be kind of giving it us as maximum at this time of the year. So I'm going to get the tap on fully and then get gas rating using this uh, U6 gas meter. Now I've got the tap running, I'm just going to wait till the finger goes all the way down to the bottom and then I'm going to start my stopwatch and I'm going to time how long it takes to do one full revolution and we're off. So the reason why I wait till it gets to a full figure because it's easier to judge then. So I always kind of do it at um, half past or o'clock. It depends what your gas rating really, but I'm gas rating the boiler. So we've got the hot tap running full pelt, the boiler's on maximum. And we're just waiting now for it to come round to the bottom and then we know it's done one full revolution. Coming down to the bottom now. And we're now stopped, okay? So that came out at just just uh, just 39 seconds. Okay, so let's get over to the board again and let's transfer that information over. Well, let's have a look at the maths for this boiler we've just gas rated in hot water. So first of all, 3,600 number of seconds there are in an hour. Okay, so that's the first maths we need to remember for gas rating with a U6 meter. Now it took 39 seconds, so that was how long it took to do one full revolution of the test dial. Now 3600 divided by 39 gives us 92.3 cubic feet an hour. So again some of the old boilers would have given you that as a um, gas rate in the uh, old days. But we need to turn it into kilowatts. So if we do 92.3 we times it by 0.028 because that's the conversion factor for converting cubic feet into meters cubed. It comes out at 2.58 meters cubed an hour. Still not kilowatts. So 2.58 times 38.7 because remember that's the carolific value of gas and we've now reverted back to the G4 way which gives us 100 megajoules per meters cubed. 100 divided by 3.6 is 27.7 kilowatts gross and remember from 2000 we need the net so we do 27.7 divided by 1.11 gives us a grand total of 25 kilowatts net now we just gas rated a combi boiler according to the manufacturers ariston for that boiler it's a 24 kilowatt combi boiler but we've just gas rated the input, not the output. The 24 kilowatts is the maximum output for that boiler. So depending on how efficient it is, will depend on what your gas rate is. Now, again, depending on the time of the year. So in the summer when the incoming water is warmer than it is now, because we're, we're in February, um, your delta T is going to be different, okay? So your boiler might not have to work as hard. So if you can preheat that water coming in, it won't need to um, work as hard than the boiler when it's gas rated, or when you're gas rated. So it depends on the time of the year and it depends on the output of the boiler. Remember, we're gas rating the input. So when we're gas rating boilers, it's not as straightforward as if we're doing cookers or fires. Again, we have to make our engineers judgment because if we did do this, 5% and 10% we would be a million miles out okay so when we're gas rating condensing combi boilers or any combi boiler what modulates then we will need to make again our engineers judgment so remember gas rating is a part of regulation 26.9 so this here is regulation 26.9 so where a, a, a person performs work on a gas appliance he, she shall immediately, therefore, after examine the effectiveness of any flue, the supply of combustion air, 
It's operating pressure or heat input or where necessary both and it's operation so as to ensure it's safe functioning and it's not affected by any other appliance. So that's what we're checking according to regulation 26.9 every time we do some work on a gas appliance. If you've liked this video why don't you give us that thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then get subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell because I release new videos every Wednesday. And again guys, all I've got left to say is, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, cheers.